I've pretty much cleared out this entire area, I've moved all the cages and stuffed those over here. I put the cages here, moved the rabbit hutch to the outside of the barn, I've moved and organized all the stuff here. Food can, a can for hay, sunflower seeds, a white string to hold extra bowls and hay feeders and stuff like that. I got this really awesome table. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it, but I have a couple ideas. Now it's just holding some grooming supplies. I still have to move the water container over here in this little empty area. I have to get all of this bedding out of here. When all that's done, we can start building the Angora Rabbit Colony. So we've put the wood down, well most of it anyway. So the Angora Rabbit Colony Mansion is almost done. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't get to film all of the building of it. It's sort of hard to work and film at the same time when you have a short amount of time to work every day. Um, so basically all we did is we put down plywood and stapled linoleum on top of that and pounded in some T-posts and attached wire to those. Also cut out a door. We still need to build the door, disinfect the colony, put dividers in, finish the final touches and furnishings. The door is now complete. So this is just a temporary door. It's sort of jimmy rigged and sort of not centered and all that, but it is temporary because we need to move the pregnant and Gora girls in here so that we can separate them from the buck before they give birth. So that's why it's so shabby, but it's temporary. Now I've added a dividing space. So now we have this area for all of the girls and then one of these areas will be for one boy, and the other one will be for the other. So basically, we split the colony in half, and then we split the one half into half again. So we have a half and two fourths. Also cleaned and disinfected the entire colony with both vinegar and neem oil to kill any mites and germs. So now we're going to add all of this stuff to the colony. Just finished putting all the accessories in the colony, and I'll, let me take you around and show you what I did. So this is going to be the doze pen. So both girl rabbits will be here. It's twice as big as the boy pens, and you can have multiple girls together. They usually don't fight or anything like that, so it's perfectly safe to have girls together. And so yeah, this is the girl's pen two hay feeders as well as two litter boxes. I've put chicken wire on the litter boxes to sort of prevent all the, or well, try to prevent some shavings getting onto the rabbit's fur because they're angora rabbits. They get really dirty super fast, so I've sort of tried to prevent that with the wire. And we have hay feeders too, so that, you know, if they don't want to share, they can use them, but I'm expecting them to share and not care whose is whose. And I will show you the cool thing about these hay feeders in a minute. We also have two just resting mats for some traction and just for fun. And we will get food and water in here shortly. And they also have a couple of toys. Well, sort of toyish things. So that is the girl's pen. <laughs> Goodness. So this is Lucky's pen. Um, sort of like everyone else, he has a mat and some toys and a litter box and the cool thing about this is so this is the hay feeder right but the wire if you come over here let's see aha so rabbits can access it from this side and this side so even though they're on separate sides of the cake divider they're going to be able to eat the same 
We have to separate the boys because they will fight each other. And we have to separate boys from girls because they will breed each other when we don't want them to. So that's why boys have to stay alone, but the girls can stay together. This is Solace's cage. Uh, I keep calling them cages. They're not actually cages, but, you know, I don't know what else word you could use. Section, colony, yeah. I'll just say cage. Okay, so. Mat. Toy. Oops. And litter box and hay feeder. I'm trying to... I'm, I'm trying to potty train the rabbits and people say who have done it successfully that you're supposed to put your litter box by their hay so they can eat hay and poop at the same time. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to, it's going to be a lot of poop cleaning up for a little bit, but I'm hopeful that they'll learn quickly and it'll be a success overall. Well, this dividing thing is sort of cool. It's basically a dog exercise pen, but I cut some of it off and put it back here. So it's sort of wonky because there's too much pen for too little room, but they you know they still all have fun in it. And then it connects, this is a gate thing, it connects over here with little, I sort of screwed two screws next to each other and then tied wire with it so it can't come off so no one's escaping into each other's cages. And it goes all the way down here. And over here, there was still a little too much. We folded it in. And there's a little clip right there. So you can clip it together so no one can get to each other. And then you can unclip it and move it to when you need to get in there. Basically, it's unclipped and you just scoot it out and walk through. And separating the boys' pen, where we have this, you know, it's just free here, but then down here we also have nail screw screwed in and they're tied up extra tight so we're gonna see how this works I'm pretty confident that it's going to work amazing but if some reason for some reason it doesn't we always have cages to put them back in if we need to fix things so we have a safeguard if stuff goes badly so now all we need are the rabbits and of course their food and water so I'm going to clean out do a thorough cleaning of their food and water bowls bring them in here and I'm going to groom the rabbits and the pregnant does. I'm going to clip their bellies so that their teats are exposed so that the baby bunnies can find a, have an easier time finding the teats instead of, you know, searching around because the angoras have so much fur. So I have to clip bellies and groom and then I will put them in. I have no doubt that both angora does will get along perfectly. They're so cute when they snuggle.